païen. Et Laura Conan. Euh, so we will uh, present some fonts and talk about uh, la collective Bye Bye Binary. Euh, je partage. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, is it okay for you? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can see everything quite well. Okay. <laughs> <Nice>. Perfect. <laughs> <coughs> Um, what? So uh, we are a collective uh, about inclusive type and language uh, and we formed during a workshop in uh, 2018 uh, in Brussels and uh, the school ERG, uh, Ecole de Recherche Graphique and La Cambre uh, of Brussels were included in the workshops. And uh, so during this workshop we worked on uh, typography but uh, also on uh, writing and the orality of the inclusive typing, uh, because it's really interesting uh, to think about uh, how you can talk uh, in this type of language. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I can add that uh, we are many in this collective, uh, including students, uh, professors, uh, researchers, uh, and we are in France and in Belgium. So there is all the names, so yeah, it's quite a, quite a lot. <laughs> so uh, can I add uh, that yes. uh, uh, in this uh, this group of person, the, there is some non-binary people, some queer people, some straight people, and uh, 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 a lot of diversity of uh, like uh, uh, people from uh, school, uh, art schools, and people from uh, completely uh, another. Uh, background. Mm -hmm. um, so we will talk about Baskerville because um, it's a collective font. Um, <clears throat> it's a remake of the Baskerville, um, which is a free font by Lainarte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we worked uh, during this workshop with uh, open source fonts, uh, so we can uh, get uh, some reappropriation on it in a way. And uh, also the Baskerville font uh, is uh, an homage um, to Sarah Eve, uh, the wife of uh, Baskerville. Uh, so the aim was to work uh, with multiple people on a font uh, to get in like two or three days multiple inclusive glyphs uh, of this font. <laughs> Sorry, there is a bug. <laughs> Not planned. <clears throat> okay, it's good. Uh... <laughs> so um, this is a, a what is this? <laughs> a, a U E I think uh, N E no it's N E so uh, right. um, there is some examples of inclusive glyphs um, and here you can see um, many proposals. So yeah, we worked uh, with uh, Point Median, it's called in French. Uh, it's the dot in between uh, letters. I don't know the name in English. Uh, so the aim was to contract uh, letters so we can get uh, new glyphs that work uh, as letters. And uh, also uh, we are working on uh, open type features uh, so that the glyph uh, are uh, replacing uh, automatically uh, when you type in your documents. Nice. Um, so this is Din Dong, and um, Din Dong is a remake of the Din 1451 Feta Watch script by Peter Wiggle. Um, <clears throat> uh, to begin to talk about this font, uh, this is my friend Zeli, 
and me uh, making some recycled paper. Uh, it's important for me to talk about Zeli because she's my friend and she makes her own production tools um, to make artisanal and recycled paper. And this is the second important um, person uh, for the project. Uh, it's Peter Wiggle, and maybe you know him. Um, he has a foundry called uh, Cat's Fund Foundry. <laughs> and I in invite you to visit this foundry. Um, there is many, many uh, beautiful fonts under free license, like uh, 300. Mm. And um, this is the Dean 1451 Feta Bridge Script, so designed by Peter. And uh, as I said before, in our collaboration with Zeli, um, I was also interested to be in a kind of recycling process uh, into my design practice. So uh, I chose to work on um, revival. Um, and after many research, uh, <coughs> of uh, DIN typeface under free license, I choose this character. Um, and the, the choice to work on a DIN revival is also important um, in relation to its normative um, impact. Uh, but I'm not uh, focused now on political and historical issues of this typeface and uh, stay focused on DIN Dong. Mm. <clears throat> so the first uh, thing that um, was to break down the um, typeface between um, <clears throat> um, in different modules um, to make my own toolbox like Zeli. And after I have a very simple um, uh, and small act, uh, it was to rotate it the round letters at uh, 90 degrees um, because uh, um, I was interested in keeping the um, uh, standard format of the DIN. <clears throat> um, and I kept the extended proportion uh, on the capitals. Um, like uh, to have a mix of uh, gender typography, like it's not just extended and not just condensed and uh, not just uh, regular. Um, and some accents uh, are rotated to fit into the letter box. Um, as you see, um, Uh, the numbers are a combination of uh, different modules uh, of the lowercase and um, and the capitals. Um, and here you can see the Peter Wiggle set on the left and Ding Dong on the right. And some elements of the original font like this. Uh, have been conserved like a diamond. And this is uh, the best part of Ding Dong, which interests us the most. Uh, there is um, an inclusive uh, research. Um, you can see examples. Uh, this glyph uh, meant to be non an authority, but uh, a proposal. Uh, so, if you have some suggestions, uh, I can uh, add them to the to the font. And uh, glyphs have been uh, especially designed for French, as it's a very binary language. But some ligatures work for English, like the she <coughs> um, There is a, a va variation between uh, glyphs. Um, because it's important for me to leave the, the choice to the users. Examples. Uh -huh. And there is a um, different kind of um, styles of glyphs. Uh, 
Here you have the glyph fusion. Uh, you can see uh, the version with midpoint, uh, the glyphs, and the glyph uh, <coughs> into a word. Um, you have the hug the style uh, without, without uh, proximity between letters. And the glyph stretching for the double letters. And the glyph rotation, we, um, which kept the form of the letters. And alternative to the midpoint, um, which is most um, a symbiosis and a rupture between letters. Uh, and uh, many stars. Um, who are more festive uh, in place to the, the Asterix. And uh, this is the current set. And um, it's not finished, but Dindong will, will be uh, released under free license. Um, and I, I think it's important to, to keep an inclusive and uh, open um, perspective uh, for the lessons. So, voila. So uh, now we are arriving to a normative fracture. Uh, it's also a font uh, that we did during the first workshop. And so as I wrote below, uh, we took this font uh, because it was a symbol of uh, power that we wanted to dismantle. Um, and uh, it was uh, created at a time uh, before the Académie Française. Uh, it's kind of an institution that dictates uh, the French language and what can be included uh, in the language and not uh, in the system, like in a legal way, if I may. Uh, so there is some of the glyphs uh, we made uh, with this uh, font. Uh, and also, we thought it was interested, in, interesting because uh, you can't really uh, read the glyphs anymore. So it kind of reminds me, in a way, of the stars that uh, Clara showed uh, earlier because uh, it blurs uh, the lecture. So it's kind of uh, more neutral. So uh, this is taken from the fanzine we did uh, during the first uh, workshop. So I put it the translation uh, underneath. So you can understand. Uh, this is a visual created by Karen Dat and Roxanne Maillé uh, that uh, created new glyphs uh, for the font. So you can see it uh, a bit in action. Uh, and also the is taken from the fanzine we did. And uh, it doesn't really translate well uh, in English because it's already a neutral language, uh, if you may, uh, compared to the French uh, language. And uh, the text uh, near it is talking about uh, intersex uh, people and how uh, at birth uh, we, like not we, but like the medical team uh, have to choose uh, the sex of the baby uh, in a surgical way and how it can be uh, a bit problematic uh, if uh, the sex that is uh, imposed to the person isn't uh, their gender in the end. So um, this is the Josa Frong. Uh, it's, um, it's a font uh, started uh, uh, as a school project with uh, Morgan Le Ferrec uh, five years ago, I think. Um, it was made on uh, Metapost. Uh, which is uh, one of the oldest um, uh, way to, to do a font by, uh, by a computer. Um, and it was for the Josephère Association in Brussels, uh, which protects uh, a natural wasteland from a real estate project. So uh, in this uh, association, there is five associations gathered as uh, one. So we wanted to show uh, this multiplicity um, and um, so we started um, to use Metapost because uh, we, uh, with one code, the same code, uh, we can uh, have a, a lot of variation. 
So um, this is a grid with uh, points. Um, and so uh, with, if, if, you, uh, if you just change one line of the code, uh, you can have a multiplicity of, um, of different uh, forms. So this is uh, the, the Westland in, uh, in Brussels. And so uh, this is the, the logo we made. So the, there was the, um, the, like the, the old logo of the association. Um, and we try to, um, to like, uh, play with the font to uh, remem like make, remember the, the oldest uh, logo and uh, to put it together uh, in the main logo. So once again, there is a, a, a multiplicity of, uh, of way to, to have uh, the logo. And so this is the, the specimen. We, um, uh, it started to, uh, uh, as a logo, but uh, we made um, uh, 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 la, la for, uh, a font for uh, text writing. And uh, after that, uh, we started to uh, really play a lot with uh, with this uh, base, with this grid and uh, these points. And so uh, it's um, it made a, a lot of uh, different different projects with that. So here it's uh, the website of um, uh, Morgan uh, Deal Publication, <laughs> and uh, all the titles are made with the same grid and the same points. As the the first, and and um, so I started to um, like really recently to uh, add uh, non-binary glyphs. So uh, this is um, an example which uh, in one I I, I, I try to uh, gather all the letters to make more one sign than uh, two letters or just. Uh, as a, I don't know, like really a sign, uh, a new sign. So sometimes it's really difficult to read, but I'm not sure it's uh, the intention. I, I we, 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 we are exper experimenting a lot. And so, so this is one example. Um, And uh, once again, we, we tried to, uh, to add the e, she, and uh, And um, uh, this is the most uh, recent project we made with um, like the, the font and the, the deviation of the font. Uh, is for the 8th March uh, in Brussels. So uh, we, we made a, um, a glitched uh, version of the font to make, to make remember the, like the, the protest and the riots. And... Nice. Um... So this is uh, Sirius Cumulus, and uh, it was my first font. But I will start with my schemas uh, because I'm really uh, excited about uh, scientific and uh, technical representation. And I have a huge collection of schemas. And there is often in my schemas some um, different uh, fonts and uh, different lines and pixelization and colors. <clears throat> um, and Cirrus Cumulus uh, was made of modules of Zoom into it. And so Cirrus Cumulus is a hybrid font um, which makes two styles. Um, first, you have the, the capitals. Um, with um, a lyric fly, um, 
which take um, characteristic from a script uh, typography. And you have the lower case, uh, which is more um, like a basis for reading. Um, here you can see uh, the global schemas, uh, the zoom and the letter. And um, the pixelization uh, caused by zooming into my schemas. Uh, let me break the curves of the letters. And this is with uh, this font that I start to um, draw inclusive glyphs. For example, um, and the idea uh, was that the users uh, can uh, draw um, uh, with the glyph. Um, like uh, schemas, mix uh, text and um, image. Um, and then uh, you can draw your own ligature in place to the midpoint. And the current set. And um, so Schemulis is under free license. And you, you can find it on the very cool uh, library uh, Badass Font by Woman by uh, Lauren Furter, who is also a part of uh, Bye Bye Binary, and uh, on Velvetin Type Foundry, which is a nice place too. Uh, voilà. So uh, now I'm going to talk about uh, a font that I'm making currently. Uh, his name is uh, Shen for the moment because I don't have a finished name, but it will come someday. Uh, so, uh, at first time, uh, this font uh, was for the music label I'm working with. Uh, so it was more in a commercial uh, situation, but uh, I tried to have uh, to have really fun with it. And uh, because uh, I took uh, as reference uh, chains, I thought it was really interesting uh, to try to do inclusive uh, glyph with it because it's. Uh, the thought that uh, a word is a chain and each uh, letter is a component. Uh, so there is some inclusive glyphs uh, I made. So it's kind of, uh, you can also see it in a way that letters have a magnet uh, at the ends so that they stick together. Uh, sorry, there is a problem <laughs> in the PDF, but yeah, uh, yeah. So ah, it's here. So there is uh, the letter set uh, currently. Uh, it might change, but for now uh, it's uh, it's. So I really tried uh, to work so that the letters uh, kind of uh, are in a continuity uh, when you type a word uh, with them with the kind of uh, wiry uh, design I made. Uh, there is a punctuation set that is also a work in progress and the number set. Uh, there is some more uh, inclusive glyphs uh, I made uh, with it. And I'm also working with uh, open type features so that um, the, the replacement of the letters became uh, more automatic uh, when you write. Uh, so you can see a bit uh, in the glyphs that the wires are connecting each other. Uh, so it's beca it become really a glyph uh, that sticks uh, together. And this is a uh, Trojan with uh, one uh, of uh, the inclusive glyphs. So it's uh, you are pretty handsome. Uh, and I drew it uh, with uh, the inclusive uh, glyphs and the midpoint so you can see uh, what happened uh, with the inclusive uh, glyph. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's uh, with the font uh, I just showed you, and uh, we made uh, banners uh, for the demonstration on the 8th of uh, March in Brussels for the feminist strike. So there is uh, one of it with uh, really cool flowers uh, made by Clara. <laughs> uh, there is another uh, of the demonstration banners. Uh, so it's uh, I Want a Dykes for Presidents written on it. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, so there is other picture of uh, Clara and Andrea, uh, which is based also in uh, Brussels and in Bay Bay Binary. Uh, so drawing uh, on the banners, some of glyphs and letters, uh, some of our members uh, made. There is other banners. Uh, so uh, on the top, uh, there is also the sentence trans assassiné pas une de plus, so no more uh, murder transgender, transgender people, sorry, and strong and proud. So there is a really cool picture uh, of one of the banners uh, during the strike. And uh, also a happy banner, but in an inclusive way. <laughs> Uh, yes, and um, this is a very new um, project run by um, uh, Camille Caroline Circuit Dat. Um, it's a platform, uh, and we invite you to to visit. Um, the the goals is to um, to do an inventaire of um, uh, inclusive glyphs and fonts and um, to to gather them. Uh, <laughs> Ça va? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, we just finished the presentation. Uh, so we can uh, go to questions. Yes. Or something. Thanks a lot for the presentation. It was like super, super interesting. Okay, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone wants to start uh, with any question. I have a couple, but I would like all <laughs> everyone else like <laughs> start a conversation. Is someone from the attendees that want to say? <laughs> no? Okay, so I will start. Like, um, I I really like the Ding Dong font, but uh, I would like to ask you. Well, all of them are very nice, uh, but I would like to ask you: In which kind of work do you see these fonts used? Like. Uh, yes, where are you imagine, imagining that graphic designers can use these fonts? Um, well, yes, um, I don't really know, <laughs> but I think it can work for um, um, poster, but also uh, as the lower case are. Um, um, simple. I think you you could um, write some text with it. Um, <laughs> we have to try, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, uh, we can do many um, many things with Dintong. Uh, uh, many utilization. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I don't and know. I have I have a question about the last slide you you put because I understand yes. like the inclusive characters the non-binary characters but I don't know which ones are the post-binary <laughs> so maybe you can explain me. Um, um, it's. Um, it, it was just to present the the, the website. Um, uh, uh, actually, yeah, I don't think I quite understand the question uh, because the last the slide was to present a, a website mm -hmm. uh, in which you can enter a type, a inclusive type, uh, if you want and if you are working on one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but my question is like inclusive type is the one that includes all gender genders no feminine masculine or neutral depending on what whatever you you feel like uh, okay 
but I don't understand the post binary. Uh, what does that term relate to? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, um, I, I think it's, um, it's just a way to say that uh, it's um, we are beyond, we are beyond binary. Uh, the binary, but I'm not sure it's a, a, a term uh, really used. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's the so, uh, so we'll it. Yeah. Okay. It may okay. refer maybe to whatever comes next. <laughs> yes, uh, beyond the bin binary. Yeah. By binary. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, it was a good <laughs> <that> question. <laughs> And uh, I also wanted to know if you got any feedback from your posters in the March uh, and what kind of feedback did you get when people saw these new characters? Did they understand them or like what was the... Mm, actually, we didn't, we didn't have a lot of reaction besides uh, really happy people, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, they were just like uh, really happy to see that and that uh, it's like kind of uh, more brought uh, to light. And also, yeah, it's just, yeah, it was positive reaction, <laughs> mostly, yeah. Cool. Um, I still have more questions. I don't know if anyone <laughs> wants <laughs> also to participate because I have a couple somewhere. <laughs> I do have a question. Do you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to ask, as a graphic designer, how can I use the glyphs? Like, uh, can I use it like in InDesign, making a publication, for example? Or how can I include them? Yeah, we are uh, working currently to uh, uh, to set the fonts uh, to uh, be open uh, open type mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, it's really a good que question because there is a lot of way to do it. Uh, we can say that uh, if you uh, uh, type uh, two letters together, uh, they, uh, the uh, glyph, a new glyph appear, or you can choose uh, in the glyph uh, on your own because sometimes it, it's quite uh, difficult uh, when it's uh, an automation, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, to have a proper way to um, to, uh, to 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 text uh, what you want to text mm -hmm. but uh, it's really a question we we, we were asking okay. still for now you can pick it from the, yeah. from the glyph panel yeah still for now you can pick it from the <laughs> glyph panel <laughs> yeah. uh, mostly um, and see if some people want to help us. <laughs> you can uh, come. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Elena uh, is asking us uh, about the workshop you you mentioned at the beginning. Uh, where mm -hmm. was it, and in which context? Maybe you can say some more about the workshop. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so the workshop were, uh, was in uh, Brussels in November uh, 2018, uh, and it was uh, planned uh, with uh, the school uh, we're <laughs> studying in, uh, Ecole de Recherche Graphique, so Graphic uh, Research School uh, based in Brussels, and also uh, La Cambre School uh, of Arts. Uh, and uh, there was uh, students uh, during this workshop as well as uh, professors, but uh, the uh, hierarchy where it was uh, horizontal, so it was not, uh, we didn't came with, uh, I'm a student and this is a professor, it was really like learning from each other and working with each other, with each other. Uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, you want more information or... <laughs> Uh, there's another oh, yeah. question. Uh, I also, uh, I can add, sorry, uh, it's uh, documented on our website if you want to mm -hmm. go see. It's uh, genderfleet.space. Uh, Maybe you can post a link in the uh, chat so everybody oh, yeah. can okay. see. Uh, there's also another question from Gab Gabriella. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
he says are you studying uh, are you still studying and how challenging or limiting or easy do you consider entering typefaces into the market towards designers that already have a career uh, uh i think well uh, to, there there is two students and uh, i'm uh, i'm now out of school and um, so for me it's not really a problem because we don't see uh, for me um, this uh, experimentation and this font as um, uh, to be uh, into the uh, uh, um, market uh, like uh, um, I, I don't uh, I, I'm sure I will not have money with this fonts because it's uh, open fonts and free fonts so for me it's uh, more uh, a question of uh, really experimentation and maybe mm -hmm. um, uh, like, um, uh, engagement maybe mm -hmm. uh, than uh, um, like a real work or job or I don't know uh, mm -hmm. but it's um, uh, I use these funds for my uh, paid job, and uh, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, cool. I think to to melt all the uh, like mm -hmm. the the free uh, work and the paid work together. And mm. and uh, I, I think it's important to to keep the open license issues and. Um, you can get them for free then um, people can uh, easily uh, use them and have access to inclusive uh, glyphs um, and it's also um, interesting um, in for remix uh, as we can add some inclusive glyphs uh, at font and uh, just push the push it and yes I have another question <laughs> yes I would like uh, to know uh, if you have thought about the new sounds because I guess that combining or merging two different leaps to make a new one also has to do with the sound so have you thought about mm -hmm how your new clips should sound or you or you are just experimenting with the graphic side of making new letters um, i think it depends sometimes uh, the uh, form of the the glyph is um, um like a, i don't know how to say that but um it's uh, it, it come from a sound so we made we, we made a glyph uh, from the sound of the pronunciation uh, mm -hmm. by the non-binary people when they are talking they, they are every time inventing a way uh, to to speak uh, uh, yeah their gender uh, speaking about their genders and, and so this is one point and I think uh, at the, on the other end some glyphs are, I, I think it's quite um, interesting to just uh, show a glyph and let people um, uh, take it and to see how the use, use of the glyph uh, can, can uh, lead to a, to, to a sound. Thank you. So the idea it would would be more like to make it and release it and, and see how it how people just take it and use it, right? Yeah, because we, yeah. we, we don't want to impose or, yeah. or to be uh, too uh, too uh, narrow. narrow. I think yeah, it's really propositions uh, we are making rather than this is how you should do it and not another mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm because people can uh, invent like whatever they want and whatever they feel uh, they are so yeah and i think we we, we can't uh, like um, know uh, how uh, like the life can take uh, our job uh, our, our, our work mm -hmm. like uh, 
maybe uh, we will be really surprised by the pronunciation of the, the, the glyph or, and I, I really enjoyed that, I think. Mm -hmm. I have another question. Uh, I was thinking since these you're doing all these experiments with combining letters and uh, you know having these new ligatures, uh, did you when you were using them uh, were there any legibility uh, questions that arose that you know if uh, certain combinations were being read the way that you intended them to be? Did you have any experiences? With them? Yes. Yes, uh, it's, um, uh, we had a lot of experience uh, with that. And uh, for me, it's, but uh, I think we are all a different way to, 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 to see that. But for me, I, I see my glyph, when, when I really combine uh, two glyphs in one, uh, as um, at in English, it's a, yeah, at, 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 uh, it's a glyph and, uh, and it's uh, not just a A and a T. But everybody is uh, can name it or use it, but it's just another form. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like just to learn and to um, mm -hmm. use it and see. But I yeah. think there is a lot of point of view. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but uh, we also had the question of uh, how do you say it? This uh, is <coughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know the term in English, but uh, people uh, that are, that uh, have trouble uh, to uh, yeah, yeah. yeah dyslexia. I don't know uh, that uh, change letters. Uh, yeah, I don't know the name. Sorry, dyslexia. Mm. Uh, we had the question about that uh, because glyphs can be really hard uh, to read, and uh, we are. Uh, yeah, we would want uh, to start uh, thinking about that, but I think it's kind of uh, early on. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, we are in a research uh, phase. So this question is uh, really important, and we cannot like ditch it to the side. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, yeah, it's in research uh, still, I would say. And maybe we would uh, we will would uh, work with some concerned people, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure we are like uh, not in a really hard way, mm -hmm. and so uh, we can't really uh, know. But uh, it will be in interesting to to collaborate mm -hmm. uh, with some really uh, like, uh, we we speak all like mm -hmm. about uh, these questions. Are there any other questions from uh... um I was I was gonna ask like maybe it's quite um common um <coughs> but like what advice would you give to someone who is looking to start experimenting with type um so like maybe yourself a couple years ago what would you have liked to hear? Uh, we didn't hear you. It, uh, the sound is really low. Um, okay, can you hear better? Uh, yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, um, I was just going to ask, like, if you could give advice to yourself um, mm -hmm. some years ago when you were starting to experiment with type, or if you could give advice to someone now who is experimenting with type, what would it be when they're starting out? Mm. Mm. Uh, hard question. Uh, I would say like really experiment uh, with the tools and uh, like just do whatever uh, you want, even if it's not if it's not uh, really academic or in any way like it's not like you can do uh, experiments uh, like uh, taking all the points of your type and like. Uh, stretch it and do whatever you want to it and like see what happens and like sometimes it's nice and you you're like oh i found something it's really cool so then you can apply it to other letters and just work in that way i think and just like yeah uh, search for uh, alternate alternative tools uh, also like uh, metapost uh, with uh, joseph Rond, uh, that marushka and morgan uh, worked on 
I think it's really interest, interesting because you can uh, twist uh, the grid and make uh, really easy experiments, but also quite hard, but like it's quite uh, easy to handle uh, at the first step. And you can really get interesting forms with it. So I would say, yeah, like search for really interesting tools and also like just like uh, destroy uh, your phones. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I have a, a last question, and it would be about um, what would you say it was the most difficult part of doing this project in of all the type traces that you have done? Which one has been like the biggest challenge and which part? Mm. Uh, I, I think it's um, when you put some glyphs in a um, big uh, text um, because it's uh, harder to, um, um, to include them in a really uh, long text than in for um, for uh, small things or um, um, it's it's easy <laughs> um, like for uh, um, a roman I think uh, we have to um, um, test again and um, um, Yes. Mm. Uh, for me, it's uh, the readability yeah. uh, of um, the fonts uh, when you experiment too much, and <laughs> sometimes it's really not readable, and uh, nobody is understanding you. So maybe uh, there is a limit. Um, we, we, it's really nice to to experiment and experiment, but. Uh, at one point, sometimes it's quite hard to to stop too, and we can um, uh, spend a, a lot and a lot of energy and years and years and years uh, into the same project. And for me, this is the the like the my maybe my uh, my problem that uh, I can't stop and uh, said that uh, that this one is finished. Like. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's funny because I think that most typographers have the same problem that they never yes. know when the typeface is finished. Never finished. Okay. So thanks. That was my last question. Okay. <laughs> so. I have a question. Cool. I have a question. Yes, I can uh, see that. I wanted to know if you are beginning to work with people who speak other languages because like as feminine and masculine are different uh, depending on the language the glyphs also are so that's it um, i don't think uh, we started but uh, we are really really interesting uh, about that um we did some experiment uh, just uh, on monday at the strike because uh, there was some Dutch and some uh, German people, but uh, it was really a beginning like, and so uh, I don't think we are, uh, yeah, I, I think it's uh, really a, um, the, next, the next step because mm -hmm. we don't know like the binary uh, problems in certain language and so, mm -hmm. so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so if there are no not other or more questions, maybe we can go uh, to the next thing we have prepared, which is the type quiz. <laughs> so Rob and Kimia. <laughs> um, uh, for playing the quiz, the, we have to do it through our mobiles. So I will share my screen with them, with them, with the 
address that you have to go and put. Uh, so here I am. And here you will have um, um, just log in here and then it will ask you for a pin number. So once we are all logged in, we will, we will give you the pin. Just let me know when you are ready. Uh, I put the link and the pin both in uh, the chat as well. For... Ah, cool. That was a good idea. So maybe now you can share your screens, Rob and Kimia. Just a second. So we will have the questions and we will have some, I don't know if you have ever played this before. Uh, we will have there the answers with some shapes and you just have to touch the shape with the correct answer. It's important. Well, maybe Ro can continue <laughs> telling you about how it is. The process. Okay, can you uh, see our screen now? Yes, we can see the screen quite well. Okay. Cool. Is everyone ready to go? Is there anyone, uh, are we waiting? For oh, look, anyone there's to... some more people joining. Yeah, there's people joining. Let's give um, a minute before we start. 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's important that you answer fast because that gives you more points. Yeah, so the, the questions are set up. It's There's four choices and you have 20 seconds to answer, but the faster you answer, the, the better. Okay, I think we will start. You ready? Okay, start. here we go. Wow, it's quick. Didn't we have music? <laughs> I don't know where, where did it go? Okay, okay, it's okay. Oops. There's some music. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. 15, not bad. Okay. Oh, Ulrika, <laughs> strong start. <laughs> Number two. This one is for the ones living in Berlin. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry if you don't live in Berlin. <laughs> oh, oh, Gabriella, good job. <laughs> oh, you guys know this one, I think. That was tricky. <laughs> that was a tricky one. I detect you. No. Very good.
Very good. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> this one was an easy one. That was a giveaway. <laughs> wow, Gabriela has yeah. answer and a streak of four. Yay. <laughs> Yay. These are all the top four, by the way. Wow, how did you know that? It was a complete yeah. surprise for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a, there's a typo in there. Sorry. Yeah, there's type cases. Sorry. This one is tough. Anyone speak Albanian? <laughs> I like holy too. <laughs> scoreboard. <laughs> Hope you guys are paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> change. Oh, okay. okay, two more. Oh, double points. Changed it a little bit. And this is the last one, no? Yep, one yeah. more. This is it. The last one more. Okay, be fast. Double points again.
Ooh. Pretty split. Yeah. Tan, 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 tan. <laughs> oh, Gabriella. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, Gabriella. So everything changed. Who's, it? Who's, it Who's be? going to be number one? Aliens. Bibi. Is that the Bibi we know? Who's that Benedict? Who's Bibi? I don't know. Who's Bibi? Sure. Me. Hey, Benedict. Benedict. Ah, <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> cool so, drawing, no? Sorry? Yeah. I think Benedict is in Berlin, living. Yes, he is in Berlin. <laughs> Can you see the screens still? Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. So congratulations to <laughs> Benedict, <laughs> Ulrika, and Gabriella. Uh, right. The second and third prize winners, please let uh, put your contact or how we can get you, reach you. Not, I mean, yes, Ulrika, we know, <laughs> but um, yeah, contact us and then we can yeah. get you the funds. And Benedict, this is the new the new book. It's not out yet, but it'll be out in, I think, a week. Maybe. Next month, yes. Yes, I think yes. next week. Hmm. All right. So and, congratulations. And thank you so much for playing. Uh, thank you. That was a great type piece. Thank you, Kim and Andro, for making it. <laughs> well, it was fun. We hope you had fun. <laughs> Uh, just before we leave, I would like to ask you a favor, and that would be to turn up your cams so we can make a picture of all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice to see you all. <laughs> I hope uh, you I all enjoyed mm -hmm. the, the talk as much as we did. Um, we were very happy to have you. Thank you so much. Bye bye, Binary. The things that you presented you. us were super interesting, super nice to know about new alternatives that we are, well, yes, that now are have, have to be used. <laughs> because there are so much people that have to be included in the way we talk, with the way we speak. Uh, it's not just male and female. So I think this is a great experiment and that the future go, should go like that way. Um, <laughs> someone is saying here that you have lovable accents and I agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. I think diversity is, a very important thing and uh, with your accent it was super nice uh, to have a small example. <laughs> so um, thank you everyone from for coming uh, stay safe and we we will let you know when it's our next uh, event yes for uh, people uh, check out the instagram and keep looking for details about the next events Mm -hmm. right. So say, stay safe and see you next time. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.